The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 Trailer 1, I believe. One in one, it's perfect. But anyways, guys, this trailer starts out with Katniss, and she's just like, man, I didn't want this, I didn't want to be in it, I was forced to be, well, not forced, but uh, I was in it, and now it's just being this big thing, and she doesn't want to be a part of it anymore, and then we see that she's talking to that guy that's in all the movies, and he's basically the leader of the whole thing, and uh, man, does that guy at the end of that conversation have the creepiest face, I mean... Look at it. That is just weird, but I just thought it'd be something I mentioned. And then we see that everything's not the way it used to be. Everyone's just trying to survive, and it's just a very hard time that they're going through. And we don't know yet, movie-wise, if they are going to blow up other districts, but I mean, we see this, so you have a pretty good idea. And then Katniss sees that Peta is still alive, and she finds out that he's basically the capital's weapon, just like she is for them. And I like the idea. It's sort of like a division between the two, so we can have some very sad scenes. And, you know, sad scenes are always good in movies, not that this series doesn't have a lot. But yeah, I like that idea, just like in, uh... I have two versions. Uh, just like this right here. Copyright, just like this, uh, the Winter Soldier, you know, they were both for different groups, but they were friends, and now they gotta fight each other, and it's just like that, and this, I really like this movie, so I like that idea. I'm not saying that, like, you know, it has to be exactly like the Winter Soldier, where it's like action and all that stuff, no, I just like the idea of the two people who were once one but now are divided type thing. I just like that idea. It plays very well and it sucks you into the movie and I really like that. Even though Peter would, would look kind of cool with the metal arm. But then basically, uh, give, getting back to the trailer and none of those jokes. But, uh, yeah, getting back to the trailer, then we just basically see, you know, you know, just some more scenes of everybody going against the Capitol, and it's very emotional, and, uh, I like how they're kind of playing the war aspect into this. I really like that, how they're just, like, adding little bits, you know, here and there of a uh, war theme, which I, I, which I, I like that, not that uh, the other, the other, uh, Hunger Games didn't have that aspect, but, it it'll it's playing really well here as far as I'm concerned. Which is one of the reasons why I am gonna give the Hunger Games Mocking J Part One Trailer One a ten. Yeah! I had some really good emotions to it and just dug me right back into the Hunger Games, which is exactly what this trailer was uh, supposed to do and did do. It had a lot of great emotions. The music was probably the thing that made it the most. And I just really like it, and I'm really excited for the Hunger Games Mockingjay, and uh, you guys should definitely go check out the trailer, and uh, please, please uh, subscribe over here. Please comment, please like, and uh, later aid, guys.